What's up guys, Champs here, and welcome back to the Call of Duty Mobile. This is going to be the Damascus series. Now, you notice that I've done Damascus already, and we saw Season 8, I believe. Season 18, I believe. Let's, let me double check one second. Oops. I think it's Season 18. But nonetheless, uh, this one I'll go, I just, this one I'll go through the tips and tricks there. It's going to be posted or made to public for the New Year's, just to let you guys start off the New Year's fresh. And it is season 18, yes. No, season 13, I, my bad. Season 13. My, anyway, guys, um... Right now, uh, what if it's season 13's out? If you have a chance to play it, you can grind it, play it. But I recently started grinding this thing just to try and get the new score streak, which is the EMP system and the new g gun, which is the Peacemaker. I believe it's the P Peacemaker and two. I believe I don't know. Let me double check this. The Peacekeeper MK2. So when when I get the Peacemaker MK2, I'm gonna try and get I'm gonna grind to get Damascus for this one, for that gun. Each new gun I'm gonna grind to get Damascus. It's not that it's not gonna be hard. It's just one gun. So I'm gonna have I'm not gonna have a hard time with this one. But I recently started playing matches, playing some games. And uh, right, and right now I'm taking a break because of the whole stupid try hard fucking shit people that likes to try hard in casual matches when only the only people who like to try hard, which are the ones who compete, are supposed to be the people who play on rank mode. That's why league system and rank system is there in the first place for. People to compete and to try to like try hard on this game, well, just to get above that one. But no, they just like to try hard on the casual games, which takes the fun out of me for a couple hours. I might, I might go back, but like I might go back and punch them in the face. But not not time for talk. New Year's. By the way, this is going up on New Year's, so Happy New Year's to you guys, and hope you guys have a fantastic time. And as for the World of Potter Bullies, aka Casimir Pruitt, Annabeth Gunnarsson, Def, Demon Death Stalker, Carly Moonlight, Ariana Westwood, and of course Mackenzie Weasley. Of course, Dragman Mania, Christopher Gillies, and Peter Bread from Hogwarts is here. Oh, and of course, Logan Ruby Doe from Hogwarts is here. I hope you all guys, during your holidays, during Christmas time, and of course, during your New Year's Eve party, I hope you guys t inhale and take in a lot of salt. And of course, drinks a lot of vinegar. I hope you guys do that because that would be hilarious and that would be karma for what you have pulled, for all the stunts you have pulled. Just to make a lot of en enemies and just for other people to suck your dick to actually follow you around. But <laughs> nonetheless, back to what I'm saying. I'm going to give you guys the tr tips and tricks as to how to get the Damascus camo. Because, I tell you, it's going to be, for those of you guys who want to start grinding out those camos, uh, to grind out to get Damascus, like, I want you guys to figure, I want to sort of like give you guys any way, shape, or form to help you guys out, because I'm going to... You see, I'm. I want you get guys to get up 
get 2021 on the right foot because I know you guys want the rare Damascus stuff, Damascus camo. You have to grind a lot of camos for that one. But without further ado, let's get started with the first case, and that would be the maps. So I have three maps which I would like to use, and which I tend to like to use. Um, one of them is the ship. One of them is shipment which I use shipment for all of for most of my guns most of my guns that I use including shotguns because I want to try and get because I was trying to get shotguns, shotguns which thank god and then I use crash and crossfire now let's see which one's pe before I start which one's pe peacemaker Peacemaker is an AR, so Peacemaker is, is good for use of shipment as well. Now, in order, now in order for me to get like those challenges done, of course, majority of the challenges will be finished in shipment. The game mode I use is hard point. Why I say hard point because you can get a lot of kills from there. There and also it's just the point goes from time to time, so you can catch them off guard easily. And so it's typical for all the guns. However, there's one particular gun which I was struggling to get, and that's the F H J eighteen. The F H J eighteen. There's one challenge that I was struggling with, and that challenge was to get. Excess one Goliath kills. I think you need ten kills, and with that one, with that specific weapon. Here's a problem. Here's a problem. With what I had with that one. The problem with that was that I, I was trying to wait until everybody used activates the excess one Goliath, but no, either a nobody get nobody gets it. And B, my teammates always getting it, which it fr frustrates me. What now? If that doesn't work, if the opponent's not gonna act, throw in the excess one Goliath, I feel like okay, I just want to take this myself. So, uh, tips and tricks for you guys: make sure you have excess one Goliath as your score streaks because you have to because during the match you you try to obtain. Excess one Goliath, and you can pull so that way you can throw it in. You can throw it in, but make sure your teammates doesn't get it. If your teammates doesn't get it, that will ruin your entire plan. And of course, uh, to make it easy, to make it easier for you guys to actually reach, throw in the excess one Goliath. Never use persistent because persistent basically is a if you don't, guys don't know, it's a red perk. It's basically a perk which you it's in which it double times your score streak chances, but you're only allowed to use one one score streak for the entire match, and that will ruin your chances. So don't use persistent perk because it will make it easier for you to obtain a lot of the excess one glides and to make sure that your opponents gets it. Once opponents get it. You have to use a rocket launcher, F, the FHJ-18, that, so that you can use it, destroy it. It takes only two hits. Here's my issue with that one. You won't have enough rockets for that one. I believe you get two, two ammunition for this one, and after that, you, after that will be gone, and then it won't work for that one. It's, and also, sometimes you can get cut off by the other players. Which is annoying. So, if you haven't got this specific perk yet, I suggest you you go get that perk and put it on right now because it will help you big time. And that perk I'm talking about is the Launcher Plus perk. The Launcher Plus perk was a saving game changer for me because 
Like, I didn't unlock the launcher perk until it was at, until it tells me, like, what I need to unlock. I believe I unlocked it when it was a seasonal event. I made sure I, uh, like, the Damascus quest, okay, I hold that there. I hold that there so that I can get the launcher plus perk. The launcher plus perk, basically, it basically allows you to add one more reserve rocket towards your rocket launcher that will save you big time that way if you miss one of them you get an extra chance to hit it again so that would be good for that one now let's talk about the whole other guns which the other guns you need long shots one of the challenges you need to you need long shots long shots was a pain in the ass even when it comes to Shotguns. Shotguns is what I hate. Now, here's the thing. Uh, shotguns, I, because I figured out a good metal for this one. In order to do long shots with shotguns, you need something with damage range. So put everything with damage range. But even if you put damage range, it will recoil so badly. It recoils so badly, and I'm talking about that, like the Echo and the Striker is not that bad, but the other gun it was atrocious. The BY-15 is the, like, the BY-15 is easily one. It's just it needs more of that one, and that sort of thing. So I should just put in that one, but in order to counter my recoil, I needed something with the... Latitude, so it's kind of like a vertical, the vertical recoil attachment. I need an attachment that deals with vertical recoil. That way, it can just stay steady until I shoot. So I can shoot that shotgun for long range. It took me uh, many matches, and I finally got that done. So, crash, heart. By the way, the map and mode for the shotgun to make long shots are Crash, Hardpoint. As for the rest of them, which are the ARs and SMGs, the ARs and SMGs good for long shots in Crossfire Hardpoint. And I'll tell you why. Basically, you can go as long distance. It's just basically one straight line to there. It's like, it's kind of like a Z. If you know what I mean, the map is kind of like a Z pattern, so I can just like launch that thing, try to shoot it, try to make sure it's a long shot. I got it. I got the long shots done quite handily, quite handily, especially the M16. Oh my god! You know, if you use crossfire hardpoint, the and you use the web if you want to grind the M16 and M4, I tell you. M16 M4, you'll get long shots done in like that, like quickly. Here's why: M16 is a burst rifle, and you can like you can go all you can shoot all the way across the map, and you figure and basically you just you hit them not and stop because it's a burst fire, and the recoil is good. The M4 the M4 the recoil is good on that one as well. Let's say at least SMGs SMGs like. Here you go, but it's medium range. Make sure it's not on top of say long shot. That way it's easier for us. Now for now for snipers. Uh, in snipers, I will change it up a bit. You can, you'll still use the map crossfire, but throughout my grind, I use crossfire, but crossfire, but not hardpoint because hardpoint they move a lot. I use crossfire frontline. Here's the reason why for that one. I use crossfire fire front line because like you only have one spawn point so basically you can just pick them off one by one using a sniper so it's easier for that ones to say and of course everything else all the other challenges like the hip fire the no attachment kills the attachment kills and headshots and kills you I use shipment hard point for everything because it's really it really good that way it's really good with that way and You'll get a lot out of it just by being aggressive into the point and stuff. But 
headshots was difficult to, for me to do because like, I aim for the head but it doesn't count. So basically you have to aim on top of the head because I feel like every time you do that the spread of it, the spread of the bullets fire were just uh, everywhere. So aim, aim at the top of the head to make sure to make sure that the headshots count. That sort of thing. What else I'm gonna say here? I had no doubt. But uh oh yeah. I forgot one thing. If you so technically the main focus for this one is try to get gold on everything, get platinum for each one, and that way everything else you get Damascus. And technically it's helpful for it's base it's really it was really helpful for me because I grinded the game I had and I had like ten loadouts to choose from so ten guns I did I did it all within like fifteen days by the time I watch this it'll be six weeks because it's like a six week parter six parter or six weeks I but the time I recorded this recorded my each week by week because I want to get ahead of time I want to in bulk so I can do everything else because I don't want to do everything other I did basically I did um fifth it took me 15 days to finish everything and you're wondering how did I do that well I grinded day by day I never miss grinding it and Basically, using those three maps that I just mentioned, which were the ship, which were shipment, crash, and, sh and crossfire, across two game modes, it it was really helpful for me to get things done fast. Like I was, like I finished fast, and that sort of thing. So, without the final note for you guys, make sure you you use shipment, crash, and crossfire. On the modes hard point and f for every gun that you have, exception for a sniper, which snipers you use frontline on crossfire. That's one exception to this one. For the for the FHJ FHJ 18, you, you you're gonna need to obtain, of course you're gonna need to attain the XS1 Goliath yourself without using persistent and with the perk launcher plus. It's it saves you valuable time, and I'm not. I'm just not going to be one that's going to dominate everything. I just, I just every time I do it, I just look up on this guy see if they use any score streaks. But for access one life, just, just bring it out yourself. If no one's going to do it, just do it yourself. Just take it into your own hands and just finish it. And. When, once you say you're finished with the entire challenge, make sure that you get some insurance codes as well. Like, I had to, like, for example, for a PDW, if I get like 10 kills left with full attachments, then I used, then I would take like 10 attachments and then die. If I'm not dead yet, then you do. You try and get extra ones. Once you, ch and then if you just for insurance kills because like if you that way sure okay that's done that way if other what if other ones say that oh it's not count then you'll have a backup plan. FHJ as I said um XS1 Glyph. I had ten kills for, with the FHJ. I did eleven. I did eleven or twelve total because I had one at one insurance one so that way to, just to make sure that I passed the test I passed it and to make sure I complete it and what was gonna say oh yeah I forgot um make sure you make sure you guys start grinding camos right away like if you let's say for example you have splinter and you have splinter camo Unlock the. You have one splinter camo unlock, and you need to grind out to get the splinters. 
and the next one will be full attachment kills to get the other one. Make sure you make sure you prepare the five attachment kills. Just get all five attachments, and then do the long shot ones first. That way, it save you so much time. That way, you can don't have to worry about it. And also, my game plan since I'm, of course. What I like to do first is I like to do hip fire first because I'm not a hip fire guy. No, because hip fire is really is really hard when you play. Like you judge from my other gameplay when I had hip fire, and I tried to zoom, and I just had to press aim and then press the game to fire. I like one. I'm usually I'm more of a player where I use one tap ADS because it's worth it. So. For the play style, for people, for players with play styles of one tap, a ADS, make sure you do hip fire first because that way I can get that way you can get out of the way. I did hip fire first and then long shots next because long shots would be a pain in the ass for me to do. So that's one thing, and while that happens, I can get kills and stuff, make it easier for me. That way, I can work on like multiple. Multi multiple challenges done and that sort of thing. <coughs> you mean? Uh, so yeah, that's basically my advice to you. Just play with your play, play style. If your play style is hit fire, that's fine. You can do it. You can do it like that, but it, you will struggle with headshots. You just by if you aim for the top of the head. If you're a one top ADS player. Do you hit fire first? Just get it out of the way. Then do long shots because long shots will be a pain in the ass. Just judging by how people cheat in casuals. Yeah, people will cheat in casuals when their when rank system is played. When they're like, no, I decided to cheat in casual games. That's their playstyle. That's their absolute playstyle. Their playstyle is to cheat. So yeah, that's all for the video today, guys. I'm going to continue grinding this game. This season... 13 battle pass to get the EMP system score streak and as well as the peacekeeper because if I can get peacekeeper then I will grind peacekeeper to get Damascus plus there's a n there's a n another camo that you're going to use that you're we're going to try and get through or I'm going to try and get through and that is to get the diamond camo. In order for me to get the diamond camo, I need to get kill 10 players in one match with that weapon. With a certain amount of time. That's going to take, now, that's going to take a lot of time because that's going to take forever, like, it's going to take a long time, so I'm not worried about that one. If I get the diamond camo, then that's fine. That's fine for me. I'm, I'm okay with getting kept with diamond camo. I'm fine with Keeping in my own place with the diamond camo because most of the time I get kills for a weapon for like 20 kills, 30 kills, 40 kills. So it's not that hard for me. It's not going to be that hard. It won't be that hard for me. It won't be that hard for anybody else because it's going to be. It's not going to be hard. If you if you mess setups for rockets, I may have to use rockets again because rockets you need to destroy a certain amount of UAVs. I used to destroy UAVs a lot, so whenever there's UAV, use rocket. Done. Easy. Main axe. Actually, and then actually, wait. I want to figure out what happened with the melee. If you, if I want to get the, the if I want to get the diamond camo for melees, let me see how I can do this. Let me see. Let me turn on the game right now, real quick. And let's see. Load out. Like for example, the point fifty H. My God. The point. Okay, so for camo for the point fifty, I need to get ten kills in the match eighty times for a pistol. For a freaking pistol. You destroy UAVs. 
for melee weapons, it's, for example, an axe, in order for me to get time for this one, you need to get kills with the axe, so that's not going to be hard. I, I can do this one. But baseball bat, I don't think you can. I don't think I can do anything with baseball bats because baseball bat is just. I don't always max. Yeah, because I was maxed out. Base knife. Uh, that's sort of thing. What will happen with regular knife? Let me check. And we got one more uh, knife. Yeah, just get kills. It's simple as that. Just get kills. So anyway, guys, that's it for the video. That's all the Damascus series is completed. This is just a bonus video for you guys. It certainly like it's certainly like a tips and tricks, just to help you guys out during New Year, so that way you can. Get on with this whole thing. And. Yeah. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Hope you guys enjoy. And we will see you next time on the battlefield. And let's hope I can get diamond for each uh, weapon. It's, it's going to be. It's not going to be hard anyway. It's going to take time. But it's not going to be hard. Like getting tankles in a match. I can do that in my sleep. Do it multiple times? No, you had to play so many matches with the weapon to get the diamond. Not gonna be happy. Not gonna be a problem. But yeah, thanks a lot for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.